Okay, so today's topic we're going to look at questionnaires. Now, questionnaires are really, really good ways of collecting primary data. Uh, secondary data, like we've discussed before, comes from other sources like the internet or books and things like that. So, let's have a look at some questions and I, wa I want you guys to think about what is wrong with the question. So, um, we'll give you some questions and I will highlight some key points of what is in a good questionnaire. So let's have a look at this one. It says, it's, it is said that it's important to eat regular meals. Dietitians say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Do you eat breakfast? So what is wrong with that question? With a little bit of thought, I would say, well, it's a little bit too wordy. Um, it needs to be shorter. So something like this is far better. Do you eat breakfast every day? And also you'll notice it says, do you eat breakfast? Well, it doesn't give me a time frame. Do I eat breakfast uh, every day, every week, every year? It's not specific enough. So it needs to be much more specific. So we need a short, simple question. Ideally, you include a time frame. So in this, in this case, every day, and we want something to tick a tick box answer so it's nice and quick to do okay moving on uh, we've got another question here it says how many sisters do you have so have a little think about this what is wrong with this question well hopefully you you've noticed that we have uh, choices which overlap so suppose I have two sisters which box do I tick do I tick this box here or do I tick this box here so do I tick here or here because I have exactly two sisters so again it's not a good question also it doesn't seem to cover all possible answers what happens if I have five sisters or six sisters and I come from a big family again there's no option for me to choose that so it's not a particularly good question a better question would be something like this how many sisters do you have again we've got tick boxes and it covers all possible outcomes so we got zero one to two three to four anything more than four so the answers boxes cover all possibilities and most importantly the answer boxes don't overlap you can never have answer boxes that overlap that's a poor questionnaire okay another one so here we have a question it says how often do you watch tv rarely sometimes or often so have a little think about what would be wrong with this question with a little bit of thought the question uh, the, the problem that springs to mind for me is that well the answers are kind of vague how often is rarely what, what rarely to some people can mean different things rarely could mean once a week it could mean once a day Again, and I don't have a time frame here, so it's not really specific. It's, it's a vague question. So something better would be something like this. How many hours do you watch TV a day? This is far better because it's specific. It asks me how many hours and it gives me a time frame per day. And as well as that, it gives me options to choose uh, so that I can tick the box and nothing will overlap so I cover all possible outcomes so the question was specific and the answer boxes as well are specific another one here uh, how old are you so what could be wrong with this question so picture yourself uh, conducting a survey and asking people a questionnaire and you walk up to uh, people in a shopping center and ask them how old are you i think people certain people will not want to answer that question it, it can be quite personal and um you know people people don't want to be giving out the personal information so something like this is far better if i ask how old are you under 18 between 18 and 30 and over 30 it's unlikely that someone is going to be offended by a question like this another question here don't you agree that watching too much TV is bad for you. So what's the problem with this question? Well, the thing that springs to mind, by saying, don't you agree, I'm, I'm almost answering the question myself. So it's what we call a leading question. I'm suggesting that you should agree with me by saying, don't you agree? So we don't want leading questions. 
So a better question would be something like this. Watching too much TV is bad for you. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and strongly agree. Now some people might put something in the middle here, which would be no opinion. Um, I myself don't think it's a good idea to put that in there because lots of people will tend to go for that option so this is a much better option you can you can decide whether people disagree or agree so at least this way people do have an opinion on it so the key points here where the question should not be personal personal and you certainly don't want to ask leading questions right that's it from me so if you've printed off the sheet you can have a go at these questions so see if you can work out what's wrong with each of the questions we have here and if you have some time always a good idea to design a better question and response section for each one okay so here's what i put down and uh, the first question how much time do you spend doing homework again there's no boxes for me to tick off and there's no time frame given so I would ideally like something with a tick box and I would like to know well how much time do you spend doing homework maybe per day or per week so it needs to be more specific how much money do you spend on lunch each, each week a little or a lot again it's a vague vague uh, answer boxes here a little a lot a little to some people could be a lot to others so we want something a bit more specific and um, possibly tick boxes that have maybe zero one to four five to seven etc etc so you want tick boxes that cover all the possible answers and uh, don't you agree exercise is good for you yes or no it's a bit of a leading question again because saying don't you agree so it's suggesting that you should agree um this one here how much pocket money do you get each week well if you look at the boxes you can clearly see that there's overlaps which is never a good uh, idea when doing a good questionnaire uh, have you ever been arrested lots of people will not want to answer that question that's very very personal and the last one here what's your favorite fruit apple orange or banana well it doesn't really cover all possibilities what happens if your favorite fruit is a pear or a or strawberries or something like that so you need to cover all possible answers that's it from me i uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it useful and uh, best of luck with the revision i'll talk to you again sometime take it easy